Ramble. Thank you to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring today's episode. Little thumb man and goofy kids flipping around. <laughs> it's time to talk about Spy Kids. Welcome to Guilty Pleasure. Oh, we got a yeah. single now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got a, a hit song? Yeah, we, yeah, we do. All right. Guys, welcome to the show. Today we're talking about Spy Kids 1. Wow. The Alexa Vega. Redhead. <laughs> yeah. Redheaded <laughs> stepchild. Junie. Junie. He's, he's TikTok famous, I'll have you know. Oh, is he? How come oh, I haven't yeah. seen him? Fantastic. Because he's he's married to Megan Trainer. <gasps> oh, what? Daryl Shit. Sabera. This is random. He wow. fucks. You didn't know this? No. This is a huge thing. This is part half the he reason a, we're doing he has, this. He has a child. Yeah. They yeah, have a child. I got to look this up. This is insane. He could get his Gucci on. Oh, yeah. boy. He can do his Louis Vuitton. How about that? So we're talking about Spy Kids. Yeah, we this are. is. Fucking Daryl Sabara. Banger wow. movie. Let's do it. Um, yeah, this is the uh, greatest movie of all time. <laughs> I knew it. I fucking love this goddamn movie. Uh, there was a point where um, Sequoia came in the room and she was like, oh, what are you watching? I was like, I'm watching Spy Kids, but I was like on my phone. And she was like, are you into it? I was like, I, I don't know yet. And what? then she came back in and my eyes were peeled. And she was like, you're paying a lot of attention for somebody that's not into this movie. Was this your first time watching it? No, God, oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. For the love of God. But it's oh, oh. been years. Yes. Yeah. To the point that it felt like watching it for the first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you're like us, if you if you remember, you maybe have some vague memories of this from childhood. You mostly remember them playing Spy Kids 3D yeah. over and over and over again. Maybe you're confusing. Is this Shark Boy Lava Girls or no. Spy Kids? No, I'm here to tell you that the first Spy Kids... Laughs. Banger. No Banger. skips Rob, album. Rob Rodriguez, man. I don't Robert know. Robert Rodriguez. I don't know. Also, we need to point out, like, let's just, because I, I do believe that this is the title of the episode. Machete is a Spy Kids spinoff. <laughs> and I think that the, nobody is really, like, talking, talking about, about, about that enough. Yeah. yeah. Machete is a Spy Kids Spinoff. Yes. Dave, Machete, Dave Trejo. the yeah. super violent B movie yes. trilogy where Machete is beheading people yes. and fucking left and right. That, he is a character that was originated in Spy Kids. Kids. Okay, universe, baby. Spy Kids. So before you start shitting on us and be like, well, why would they do such a kitty movie? One of your favorite pulp action B movies <laughs> came from that shit. Put some also, respect. Oh, and Spy Kids' is name. We're doing this because it's a fucking dope it's a, movie. It's a banger of a fucking movie. The, it's a family movie. I'm so film. glad yeah. we're on the same page. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, and it's tight. I haven't watched a 90 movie, 90 minute movie in so long. Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Cocaine Bear, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's just like, let's just get everything Spy done. Spy Kids is the Cocaine Bear of <laughs> children's action movies. Yeah. That's the title printed. Print yeah. It. I was like, oh my God, because I, I remember watching this movie for the first time. Um, this was definitely one of those um, one of those uh, 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 teacher is sick. Let's bring in the TV Ooh. and just let them watch something. Yeah. Uh, one of those movies, and I remember watching it and being like, "Oh, kids can be cool. I didn't know that. We're yeah. we could be awesome." So Aww, made you believe in yourself. Made you, it makes you believe in yourself. Aww, I, I think that this is deep. this is one of those movies that you need to show your kids. To give them confidence. Aww. Now, I don't really have a personal connection to this movie uh. n- until now. Now I do. But I'm going to speak on behalf of Maggie because she was watching with me last night. She couldn't make it for this episode. But she was like, I love this movie so much. I watched the shit yeah. out of it. Yeah. And it's really just that wish fulfillment of a goofy, campy James Bond type yeah. movie. But you were a kid. Yes. And it's so fun that you can imagine yourself. It, I mean, the main character is a little girl mm-hmm. who kicks ass. Yeah. Also, you got that Latino representation. Hey. Yeah. In a way that's not beating you over the head, but you just have this like just there. dope Latino family yeah. Yeah. who's like killing Spain. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, every, yeah, everything is like kind of Sp- uh, Spanish architecture. Yeah. Robert, Robert Rodriguez has yeah. just his, his cultural flair yeah. all throughout it, and, and it's, it's delightful. Yeah. It's just like there's no denying that he came onto set with a cowboy hat. Oh, for like sure. it just like absolutely yeah. has like you're going to feel he was a fun time. He was a good time. He was like, whoa, every morning. Yeah, hey, how's everybody hey. doing today? Let's right. circle up, guys. All Let's right. go. Video village. Instead, We're making history. Yeah, yeah, instead of the margarita shot, it was the tequila shot. Yes. Like that that type of sh- that's what I <laughs> that's what I'm into. He walked into the president of Disney and said, 
I'm going to make history. <laughs> and it was true. Yeah. Thank you. Before we dive deeper into our pleasures, we'll give you a quick synopsis. Spy Kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is about kids <laughs> who become spies. Their parents, played by the incredible Antonio Banderas. Uh, the Ooh. original Ooh. Pedro Pascal. Oh, my yes. God. The original I love that. daddy. Yeah. And Damn. Carlo Giugino. I don't know why I couldn't say her name. She is Bad. 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 <laughs> as soon as she yeah. came on screen, I went, Garrick is somewhere getting yeah. a little boner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, a little like um a, I, I know a, what you meant. A half z not like okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Please continue to no, try and take okay. yourself out of that hole. <laughs> uh they are spies who retired a long, long time ago to have a family, the but man. they're back in the game. Back, baby. You have Alan Cummings, the goat, mm. as a wildly Loop. weird floop. A yeah. toy maker, uh, no, a children's show. He's like Elon show. Musk, but for children. Yeah. He, he has a children's show. He makes uh, a bunch of weird little mutant boys. Mm -hmm. and, and robots, and he's a billionaire who lives in a castle on the side of the hill. Yeah, Elon Unclear Musk. if it's, no, it's not the government. It's like some bad, nefarious agency is trying to hire him to make super soldiers. And the next big thing is Spy Kids. They said it. They did the name of the movie. Yeah, yeah. there it is. They did the thing. And to fight Spy Kids, we're going to need... More Spy Kids! Yeah. Some Spy Kids! Yeah, yeah. And so Alexa Vega and Daryl Sabara, well, they're going to rise to the challenge and yeah. save Mon Dead and pff, maybe the world in the process. Yep. This is Spy Kids. This um, this movie scared the fucking shit out of me Oh, as a kid. absolutely. I for sure watched this movie one time. Absolutely. I saw those crazy characters, the the secret agents that were being kidnapped and turned into cartoon animals, and I yeah. went, the, the fuck not. Yeah, like... I, Prisoners in their own bodies. Yes, and, and, and watching them have to say words backwards. <laughs> and yeah. then I remember those fucking... Thumbs, Let's, which now, as a grown up, rewatching this, they hot. Those thumbs got ass. Oh, <laughs> they're thick. Those thumbs. Those thumbs are were packing thick. like Derek. I was like, uh, they <laughs> are caked. I was like, Cheeked wait, up, you thumbs. you kind of thumb out the face of the thumb, and you just. I ride the shit out of one of those. Oh thumbs. my god, they're beefy boys. Oh thumb my ride. god, do you think? <laughs> That they have little thumbs for dicks? Absolutely. And I'm letting them Got thumb it. me all oh. day, baby. I want a thumb in my ear. I want that, a thumb I mean, in it, my butt. It, I want thumbs. It does look like they have a lot of thrusting power. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of thrust Wait, ability. Almost their their exclusively. Yeah. yeah. But like now that I'm an adult and I've done a lot of drugs and psychedelics, I was like, this movie's okay. Uh, it's yeah. not as scary and unknown and yeah. terrifying as it was as it's, a child. Like your parents being kidnapped yeah. by a man who turns them into Creatures and the, yeah. the we we the the weird uh clay face freaks. Yeah. I don't know what to yeah. call it. Yeah, yeah. He he will Flo take flo floopies. Flo the floopians. Floopy, floopians. floopians. Sure. They kind of look like a yellow submarine bad acid trip. Yes. Yeah. It I don't understand. The movie doesn't need it. No. It doesn't fit tone. I mean, I guess it does. It went Willy Wonka if we actually went through of Willy Wonka being a crackhead. It's it's a bad trip. Yeah, it is really even as an adult, it is uncomfortable. unnerving. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah, they he will take these guys and then who are humans? Humans and then mold clay of their face. Why uh -huh. not? And then they turn into these grotesque, yeah. very colorful children. Again, they look characters. like the big blue meanies from Yellow Submarine. Like that's all I can yeah. think about. They're just like. This weird, freaky cartoon. And the music is all off key. It's like, ah, da, 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 right. and you're like, oh my God, my stomach hurts all of a sudden. Yeah. You, it does, this is why I used to not be able to watch animated shows. Remember, I used to tell you, yeah. give me stomach aches? It's for that exact same reason. Oh, I'd because be like, of this, like the music in it. It looks weird and it feels weird. And it, I'm an empath, is all I can say. <laughs> but that design, like that, and that weird bad trip uh, aesthetic really goes through the whole production design and the costume design of the movie, which I, I love. Like, it is fully cohesive. There's obviously also Robert Riggs bringing in the, the Spanish architectural design, but the movie is vibrant and colorful, yeah. and it, like, it feels like Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium. Yeah. I haven't seen that movie, but it's what I imagine it I, looks Willy like. Willy Wonka is what I got. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But evil. There's yeah, it's like um, a, yeah. uh, evil Willy Wonka. It's, yeah. it's almost like he grew up watching that movie, and he was just like, what if Willy Wonka was... Evil. It wasn't Willy really Wonka evil. evil. He, he sold pretty, children. He and, is pretty fucked up. He like murdered kills, them. kills yeah. a lot of kids. Um, but like it was like, what if he was like actually, yeah, actually evil? Um, but then or, plot twist: it's not really him. It's a sidekick. Yeah, but I, oh, I mean, played a, by 
motherfucking Tony Shalhoub. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The goat. The Miss goat. missing Tony Shalhoub. Yeah. Um, but like multiple Emmy winner. The reason yeah. the reason that Steve Carell never won one. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Oh, because he won for Monk, Monk every, every year. year. Yeah. Fuck. I didn't even think about that. I feel like we talked about Monk a couple weeks yeah, we ago. Yeah, we did. Nice. Yeah. Monk's having a little moment over here. Guilty mm. pleasures. Yeah. Everybody watch Monk. Well, I've, I've watched an episode. You know Monk. what? They're making a movie. Oh. oh. Tony's coming back. Hell yeah. As nice. Monk? As Monk. He is. Uh, uh, really she hasn't <laughs> spoken for two hours. Yeah. It's like, we got to get into the next one, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Uh, Monk? Should we pause back Monk? for this moment? Shalhoub is back. Oh, Shalhoub uh, is back, baby. Should we title this episode, Shalhoub is back? Um, yeah. <laughs> my favorite moment was when Cheech and Chong, Cheech from Cheech and Chong is revealed to be like their, their fake uncle. So the pa- parents get kidnapped and our two spy kids are being told that their parents are international spies who have been kidnapped by their uncle who is revealed to be their fake uncle who is Cheech from Cheech and Chong. And he goes, I'm not even really your uncle. And he rips off his Cheech yeah. mustache. And I went, ah! he's like seeing <laughs> yeah. a naked man. Yeah. Like when you're so burned into <laughs> your brain of a man right. with a mustache, when he took it off, it scared me. I yeah. was ready. It scared me too. It's like seeing Superman without his glasses. Yes. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I see how he could get away with it. Yes, and because he, I wouldn't recognize Cheech without no. his fucking mustache. Uh, it would just be a man walking down the street next to me, yeah. and I'd probably be like, "Oh, get away from me." There's but a lot of good mustache removal. He's in like, this movie. he's like, you got you kids, you got to get to the safe house, and you got to deliver this message to the OSS, which is obviously short for, I don't know, the, 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 one that's... spy stuff. Yeah, what yeah. could the O stand for? I have no idea. Someone is Operation. listening to this screaming. Op- okay, Operation yeah. Spy, Super spy System. Ooh, I like Operation Super, Super Spy. But why would it be? Uh, opera- Ooh, no, that would be organization? Ooh. Organization. Organization of Super Spies. There you go. Yeah, there and it is. And he says you have to deliver one important message that the third brain lives, which reminded me of an everlasting gobstopper. Okay. There's mm. too much Willy Wonka. The aesthetic of it, yeah. yeah. Um, I want to talk about Robert Rodriguez, the filmmaker, because the opening of this movie is him just stunting on all them hoes. (laughs) He is just showing what he can do. And Robert Rodriguez, if you don't know, he's always been pushing technology, which is you may laugh because like Spy Kids looks kind of goofy, but he achieved a lot of VFX in this movie for very cheap. And he (laughs) went on to direct Sin City, uh, which really pioneered yeah. like the way that we did green screen filming he directed episodes of the mandalorian on the the what is it called that like 360 a, um, they call the it like volume the, yeah there it is i was uh, gonna which, say the void yeah the volume. yeah i mean like so he's he's always been doing it yeah and is a great action director but the even he's flexing on us from the first shot yeah it's this like crazy drone type shot which is obviously pre-drone yeah and then becomes like like right into this window of Alexa Vega and then the shot continues and it's like oh damn that's not easy no, yeah no, stitched um i love okay so the beginning of the movie is this backstory of how the parents met and you i mean we talked about this right. but you got Mr. Puss and fucking Boots himself yeah. Antonio Banderas yeah, yeah, yeah. who is hot as hell he's got a mustache in this movie that could Imagine okay, be so, a seat for something. So Antonio Banderas played Zorro. Mm-hmm. Yes. Imagine being so good in that role <laughs> that you branch off to two different fucking spy franchises. Movies. <laughs> you the spy the Spy Kids movies and then Puss in or, or I guess Shrek and then Puss in Boots. Like they you, and Zorro. You, I mean, <laughs> yeah. and, and, uh, after he played yeah. Zorro, but like you did it so well that everybody's like, yeah. We get that you are an actual actor, but could you do the thing that you've been doing for this other whole time. this whole time? It, yeah, it is especially wild with the Puss in Boots of it all because they were like, "We're gonna do a parody of Zorro, and we're gonna need Zorro." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, if we can get him. We're gonna, we're gonna There's need. Was he at the Oscars? Did we see him? I don't know. Or Puss in Boots? I don't think so. I'm Maybe. Look it up, see if he was there. I would I love him. to know. What's he up to? Uh, Puss in Boots. Yeah. yeah. He's just, he's raking in that money. Yeah. Uh, there's a shot that I love so much where they, they're talking about how the parents were like lovers from afar and they're on the Eiffel Tower and he just puts a ring box down and flicks it and it goes <laughs> and slides down a banister and he proposes. Great. Great. So cute. Because so they baller. were spies that were set to kill each other like yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Smith. Mr. and Mrs. Smith because it was uh, ripped from mm-hmm. the pages of Spy mm-hmm. Kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this even... movie launched so many yeah. classics. Yeah, it's 
fucking hilarious. It's so cool to learn a new language. Look, don't be like the rest of those Jamos out there who only speak one language. Nah, you're a multilingual king. My wife's family is Peruvian. They speak Spanish. I know that my future children will speak Spanish. And if I want to keep up in the house, I got to get learning, which is why. I'm using Rosetta Stone. Look, Rosetta Stone is the expert in language learning for 30 years. It's an award-winning app where you can learn anytime, anywhere. They've got 25 languages, Spanish, but hey, maybe you want to learn French, Italian, German, Korean, Anyang to you. They've got these bite-sized pieces, so you're learning and making real progress in as little as 10 minutes at a time. There's so many uses too. Like, what do you want to use Rosetta Stone for? Preparing to travel? Yeah, sure. But connecting with a loved one? Absolutely. Pick up a new skill, maybe just keep your brain sharp. For a limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's Lifetime Unlimited subscription, which gives you access to all 25 of their languages forever. For 40% off, visit rosettastone.com slash guilty today. Rosetta Stone, how language is learned. Uh, just one more thing about uh, Robert Rodriguez, because I'm thinking about the opening of this. There's the the raid where they're about to get married, and then like all the oh, enemies come in, yeah. and like there's helicopters, henchmen and helicopters, missiles. And there's this one shot that's like it's a throwaway shot. It's just helicopters coming. But the way that he shoots it is he has this time lapse of clouds, yeah. going, whoosh, yeah. And it's I I want to say that the camera's flipped on its side, so the ca- the clouds feel very otherworldly. And again, it's a time lapse, so the camera the the clouds are moving super fast. Yeah. But then you have four helicopters, Apache helicopters, flying at us at normal speed. And it just creates this feeling in your heart of like, whoa, hey, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, it's just one. cool. The yeah. man drip style. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I yeah. I, uh, I love Robert Rodriguez. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this Pe- is great. Picked great actors. And so I want to take this moment to acknowledge my favorite pleasure of the entire movie. Please. Alexa motherfucking Vega. Let's go. Garrick, sleepovers you, own. You just smacked your lips as if she wasn't the best in this film. I thought Junie was the best in the film. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I thought Junie Absolutely was the best. You know what? Both of you off. shut the fuck up. They're both great, and we're gonna give both of them the okay, flowers. Great, great, great. Alexa, Alexa Vega, Vega she, rocks. She what? I'm not kidding. I like replayed certain scenes because yeah. her reactions, yeah, her stillness, mm-hmm. her <laughs> her understanding of camera was so incredible for someone her age. I went, first of all, she's a one take wonder and she probably showed up to (laughs) set like, nobody talked to me. I'm in, like, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing. She was method. She was probably so professional. She's like Jeremy Strong. So good. (laughs) I mean, I was blown away and I forgot that she was an incredible child actress and she was the best, to me, the best part of this film was her. She's really good. I mean, she like pulls off action. She pulls off playing a creepy robot. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, yeah. Underwater uh, at she's points, riding on a jetpack. Like, yeah. come on. She says what I when I tell you that this line must have been the funniest thing that anyone had ever said at the time. When she at the end goes, "Oh shit, talking mushrooms. mushrooms." That's where we I, all got it from. I, but, I, yeah, I got in so much trouble for saying. <gasps> I got in so much Eric's trouble. Mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom was. And, and this is a genuine question. Do you think there was ever a funnier line in movie history? I don't think so. No, that, that affected think, so many yeah, children. I, I, I think about uh, catfish the term uh, often, where it's just mm. like somebody created that term and now it's a part of the zeitgeist. Shiitake mushrooms were just mushrooms for a yep. while and nobody thought of them nope. as being like a comp for. Shit, like yep. I, I would mean, greenlight the movie just based yeah. on that. Line. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, 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 I don't know what the hell one would be, but oh, saying heck. Yeah, let's say like if oh, what the heck or whatever. It's just like now we can just say mm-hmm. oh, shiitake mushrooms. Oh, and did As we? Way, yeah, we oh did. My God. As children, abuse all the time. It. Abused, abused it. it. You're right. The other star in this film. TikTok's own Megan Trainer's hubby, yeah. Mr. D- Mr. Daryl Sabara, uh, as Junie. Yeah. And he's young in he's this young. movie. He's, he's like, like and and that's why I think he's he's fantastic in it because he's <laughs> so fucking young. He is a a, a literal child. Like a, he looks like I don't know how old he is in the movie, but he feels like a five year old in a weird way. And he's giving the reactions. He's he's acting against. Um, you know, of course, a better actress, but also at the same time, 
taking that energy and making himself seem smaller because he is the younger brother and because he does look up to her so much. <laughs> and I guess using that energy to to play a very convincing child or a very convincing. I wrote writer. down, yeah. this makes a lot of sense now that I wrote this down. Yeah. I wrote, damn, the dad really roasts his kid that looks like the Weasley brother. He's <laughs> obsessed with cartoons, a loner, and watches t TV all day. It's Garrett. <laughs> it is. It is me. I have an older sister, so of course I. It's like you're the younger brother. And you're yeah. like the one who stays in and watches anime all day. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, he's the, the rebel, rebel of the family. family. Yeah. And rebe already rebellious family. Yeah. Garrick funny. is right now the real life version of the meme where he's smiling on the outside, but I can <laughs> tell it's a mask and he's crying <laughs> he's behind got it. A mask on. <laughs> no, but I was gonna, I was gonna bring up that this is exactly what my my sister and I's relationship is and was at the time. So like us seeing the movie, hilarious. We were just like, uh, it's you. It's fucking you know. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, down to her, like, lightly comforting him, but also making fun of him about, yeah. like, the warts on his hands. Yeah. Oh, oh the warts. Back and forth liners. Yeah. I don't remember. I didn't remember the warts. You, you oh, meet him. Burned and into my memory. putting Band-Aids on his hand, and it's because he's so nervous yeah. that he gets sweaty, and he has little warts. Yeah. And so you get to see this zero become a hero. Yeah. Whereas, like, I remember warts being, like, the worst thing that could have happened to you. As Big a kid. fear. I like if someone had a wart, it was like the talk of elementary school. Yeah. And I had never had one before, but I knew what they looked like. And I think one day I had one on my the inside of my finger and I went to high five like a fellow classmate and he grabbed my hand. Oh no. Because aren't, aren't they contagious or some I shit like no that? I have no idea. Oh God. I, or so, unless kids were saying that they were, they were like, contagious. They touched a frog. Mm. He, the, Kelsey touched a frog and like screamed to tell everyone I had a wart. Yeah. I don't know if I ever did. Don't know whatever happened to it. I remember trying to cut it off with scissors. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. But having a ward as a kid was literally the worst Nightmare. thing that yeah. could happen to you. Some favorite Junie moments. He puts on uh, super tech sunglasses and goes, oh, gross. And she goes, what? And he goes, you. Yeah, ah! Nice. <laughs> It's good. It's I'm, I'm sad we didn't get the gif of the, uh, in this one, the gif of it constantly magnifying. Uh, yeah, I don't know I, if that's two or three. Two. Uh, okay, how, yeah. we'll have to do I watched it. the trailers <laughs> <laughs> after this. Um, I also, another Junie moment, is just him coming down on the zip line. Just, yeah. I'm oh, like, yeah. yo, look at this little fucking yeah. baller. Yeah. They did action they were, really well. They were okay. just. Can, Oh, um, they were just really into it. It was it was fantastic. It's it's cool to watch the Mission Impossible um, yes. with kids. With kids, can we talk about favorite tech and little details? Okay, let's talk about it. The rehydrator. I I have been wanting this piece of tech for my entire life. I yes. saw this movie and I was like, okay, well maybe when we you know when we're thirty. We'll have this type of technology where I can just put a bag in a microwave, press a button, and I have McDonald's. And not like a full Big Mac Coke and fries. Yes, absolutely. How did a drink with ice come out of a microwave? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Elon doesn't Musk doesn't figure fucking it out. matter. He'll figure it out. And the fact that you haven't. And you're and now you're, a little anti-vaxxer, yeah. anti-trans you, you, fucking you bitch. You use all that money to fucking buy Twitter. <sighs> If you think Elon Musk is going to figure anything out, I got bad news for you. He, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that he made that car. Those Teslas, man, you just really can't compare. It's all that car. He didn't make it. Yeah, that's fair. Fair enough. All right, I take back everything I said. Fuck you, Elon <laughs> Musk. <laughs> Fuck you. You little bitch. <laughs> um, I but want yeah, the rehydrator I, was. Oh, my God. And not only that, but it was like a hideout yeah, that was like man. a beach bungalow tree house with like candy stuff. Again, more Spanish architecture. Yeah. Even when you first uh, see the parents and they reveal that they're like still doing spy adjacent stuff, Ugh. they like, like they, uh, uh, Turn their the yeah. mirror flips yeah. and it reveals yeah. a computer. Yeah. The mom, Carla, why can't I say, you know, uh, <laughs> Carla, like, uh, the mom, Emily the mom, or whatever. the mom, she put, wants to talk to him. And so she pushes her chair and instead of it being a normal wheelie chair, it's on motorized tracks. Yeah. <laughs> and it just like, and like goes over to talk to him. Like, that's so good. Yeah. I remember her hitting the buttons on her, um, vanity with like the makeup and, like as a kid pretending to do that because mm -hmm. it was like beep boop 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 like a keyboard. 
beep boop bop beep boop. Oh, also, this is another thing from the opening scene, but uh, during their wedding, they jump uh, off a cliff and mm. then they have heart shaped parachutes. Yeah. It's just adorable. That's some shit you and Maggie would have done at your wedding. If I, oh, if, if only, uh, <laughs> if I had watched this movie first, are you kidding me? Yeah. I would have not walked down the aisle. I would have parachuted in. Oh my that God. And the sick. most iconic piece of tech is the electric bubble gum. The oh, electro, electro bubble, bubble gum. of course. Well, it's up there with uh, Flubber. Y'all remember Flubber? Oh my God. I've been watching, we should do Flubber on this. We should do Flubber. I've been we wanting do to rewatch Flubber for a long ass fucking it time. It goes up there with iconic green goop. Yeah. yeah in yeah, my yeah, childhood, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was Flubber and this fucking gum yeah. that you could chew and it didn't electrocute you. No. It, it electrocuted what you threw it at. What you threw it at. Yeah. It's Which so good. It doesn't make sense nope. now that I think about it. It's also like, they oh, you want this movie to make sense? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. They overuse that. They use the electro bubble gum so many yeah. times. Yeah. yeah. This movie was just hit after a hit of, oh my God, I remember. Holy shit, yeah. I forgot about that yeah. moment. The thumbs. The th yeah. Thumbs. Dead. But like, <laughs> 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 this explains your personality so much <laughs> that you would fuck. <laughs> Listen, I'm at a point in my journey, in my yeah. healing journey, I'd fuck a thumb left and right. That's fair. I'd fuck a left thumb and a right That's thumb. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be hard to turn down. It would yeah. be hard. Yeah. Well, I'm done. And right. Just because, you know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, you're yeah. telling me you're not fucking a thumb. Yeah. Even I'm I to mean, you. you're doing maybe it. To if do it, was, it. Maybe you're if telling it was me a thumb with the thumb. <laughs> <laughs> the hot nurse thumb that we was like We just found out Garrick's kink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was there was a sexy lady nurse thumb yeah. with with yeah. quite yeah. quite heaving breasts. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I I needed to describe it in a way. What did you want me to say? Asthma. What did you want me to say? What was a what was a what was a more breasts described as heaving? What was a more polite way to say that? Should I have said with big old boobies, large breasticles? Yeah. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> Heavy natural. Heavy natural. You're telling me. <laughs> Unfiltered heavy naturals. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're telling me oh you're crying. telling me that a thumb Fine. with a juicy ass and some heavy naturals walks in here, you're not so throwing heavy down. Naturals. If we don't all start referring to heavy naturals. Yeah, that should be on the bird shirt. It sounds so polite. Oh my god, we have a shirt with titties on titties and titties and heavy naturals. Heavy naturals. A shirt that says heavy naturals. Heavy naturals. I gasped. The like air just left my body. Me, my naked body and just went, those are some beautiful <laughs> heavy naturals. <laughs> I would you got marry some, that, man. That's the most some, polite way of saying you got yeah. some pickle bitties. You got some heavy naturals. Oh, my God. I have <laughs> <laughs> Last one. It does sound like a natty ice. <laughs> heavy <laughs> naturals. What heavy is Natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My jaw hurts. I'm laughing. So <laughs> I have electric shocks going in my jaw. I'm laughing so hard. Some God heavy naturals, it. cold as the Colorado Rockies. <laughs> no, Colorado Rockies, it's her titties. I'm done. Okay. Fucking thumbs. That's the end of this conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, heavy the natural. okay. This is a sharp left turn. The den of sharks. Yeah. Scariest scene of my life. It is so chilling. They yeah. they Scary swim scene. underwater, yeah. and there's this den. Of oh. sleeping sharks. Oh, I need to catch my breath. I'm yeah. trying. I'm just trying to keep us going. Uh, and she says that the salination of the water will just keep warm enough. Keeps them keeps them perfectly sleeping. And so they're swimming by all these sharks. And Junie has to pee. And she goes, <laughs> "Don't do it, dumb bitch. It's gonna change the water, the, the pH balance." And he pees. He pees in his wetsuit, right in the shark's face. Yeah, yeah. And the shark's like. Somebody just feed on my fucking face. I gotta fucking fuck up. Somebody just chomp. feed on my face. It's a good chilling scene. Yeah. It's a good scary yeah. tension yeah. scene. I would have done that she got her period for the first time. Oh, uh, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's the adult version of this. Yeah. But sharks were already scary as shit to me as a child. This did not help. Sharks are friends, not food. <laughs> fish are friends. Well, I fucked that up. Yeah, it's fine.
But sharks are scary. They still scare me to this day. Are you afraid of sharks? Yeah. Rainy, you afraid of sharks? I heard that sharks are actually way safer than dolphins. Ooh. <laughs> oh, because dolphins will fuck you. Yeah, dolphins yeah. fuck. Yeah. Yeah. So no. Not and afraid of sharks? Because I'm not afraid of dolphins, so you got to think logically. Okay. Zachary, you afraid of sharks? I, I would be, yes. You went swimming with sharks, didn't you? I did, and it was scary. Yeah. It's it was pretty, scary? It's like, did you feel so naked on the bottom, like your leggies dangling? You, I, I've told this story many times, but the sharks, they were bull sharks, and they did that thing that the raptors do in <gasps> Jurassic Park, where I was like, yo, it's crazy. Those two sharks were, like, circling us and trying to confuse us. And Eugene looks at me, and he's like, Zach, there, there were three. And oh. I was so, I just like, it was disoriented. Like, I, I didn't that. know. Oh my God. I hate that so much. Yeah. And like, as soon as we got out, like, they were circling, they were far down from us, and they were getting closer and closer. I hate closer. it. And as soon as we got out of the water, they were like fully above water, being like, hey guys, hey yeah. guys, get yeah. in my mouth. Like, yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Terrifying. This is the smallest. Oh, we didn't talk about Alan Cumming. Alan Cumming as Willy Wonka. Floom, Floop. 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 Yep. He, I mean, Alan Cumming, you guys know. I mean, this this movie features actors from two of my favorite movies, Sleepover and Josie and the Pussycats. Yeah. Uh, Alan Cumming, I think, is just such a talent to yeah. watch him play some creepy Willy Wonka-ass villain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, he is so creepy and lovely and wonderful. Adorable. He seems like... Um, the, the reveal is that he wasn't the bad one all along. It was Tony Shalhoub. He just wanted to make his kids show better. And I'm, I'm, I've am I'm, seen too many internet things about men who are super into their kids' shows <laughs> yeah. that made me not trust him. I wanted to like him. I like Alan Cumming as an actor. Sure. He's fantastic on Traitors. <sighs> Watch that show on Peacock. Great actor, um, but don't let him around your kids. Yeah. Yeah. As this character. And he's yeah. like really obsessed with kids, but then doesn't have kids in his TV show. It was a whole thing. I didn't like it. It made me uncomfortable. It made my stomach Maybe hurt. he didn't want to have kids on this show because he was just like, I want to keep them away from Yeah. He was being responsible. He wanted to be responsible. But he then he like, gets the robot kids. He got the robot kids and he got to, you know, he got he his wanted. friends. My favorite uh, Alan Cumming moment is they're in this control room and they, they're like, the robots are on the loose. Can you shut them down from here? And he smacks a button and then the screen, like there's 14 screens and they all just say, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's Or no, I'm sorry. It's actually, it says too late. And then he turns and goes, it's too late. <laughs> My favorite line from this entire thing was when um, Tony Shalhoub takes over as the evil villain and he's asking the thumb to watch all the monitors and there's only one thumb in the entire like monitor room. And this line made me go, hmm. He goes, are you even watching the monitors? And the guy's like, or the thumb is like, and he goes, get more fingers in here if you need to. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. He was like, like, yes, please. Yeah. 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 That's a, that's an innuendo for sure. It was fun. Um, Another banger of a line is they go, it's our grand diabolical plan. Syndication. <laughs> that's, good, that's too inside. That's baseball. one for the one for the parents. Yeah, it yeah, is. one yeah. for the Hollywood parents. One yeah. for the folks. I yeah. love Tony Shalhoub when he uh, gets warped into a little creature himself. He's got four yeah. heads. Hate it. Bunch of that is the one that creeped me out. Yeah. That's the one that creeped you out the most. That haunted my dreams yep. for sure. Why? Yep. Um, it's just too many Unnatural. faces. <laughs> it's too many faces. It's too many eyes. And yeah. I, I'm, a, you know, you got the tryptophobia thing going on. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm, I'm over it. I don't, yeah. I'm not into it. Too many it. holes. Too many, Too many holes. holes. But, oh my God, Kelsey, yeah. imagine if you had four heads. The crazy shit you could get the down to. The craziest shit you could do. I'm making out with four people at once. Oh, see, this is a difference between sweet, sweet, Rick and I. My brain went to a way darker place. I'm eating out four people at once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating four asses. I mean, four buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I wanted to keep it PG. Yeah, no, you're sweet boy. Sweet boy. That like got into Rick and Morty territory. It's like, look at me, Morty. Yeah. I'm eating four asses. <laughs> yeah, I liked uh, the best pleasure of this movie was the ending cameo. Oh, my they God. They save yeah. their parents. Yeah. They all go home. Oh. They decide they're going to be a spy family. This. The television comes on to deliver them a news to say, Cortez's, we have a new mission for you. And who fucking is it? George motherfucking Clooney. Clooney. I think that that's what legitimized the movie in the yes. first place. I, I like everything was great, and you're uh-huh. just like, I don't know how I feel about it. And then you see the nice um, thumbs up of approval. Um. Yep, there it is. Um, from George Clooney himself being like, No, and I actually like, like this because he fucking loves movies from okay. dusk till dawn. 
What does that oh, mean? It's, it's a movie Robert that Robert Rodriguez, Rodriguez directed <gasps> that Clooney's in. Nice. Wow. So they were buddies. Yeah. It's a Can't dope movie. Have you not seen that movie? Of course it is. Oh, it's sick. It's like a it's it starts out as like this kind of western action movie and then becomes a vampire movie. Oh. And they're like trying to kill oh, vampires. Fuck yes. I'm that gonna... movie rules. Oh, you haven't seen it either, Garrick? No, that's It also list. stars Quentin Tarantino as his brother. Oh, cool. It's weird. Um him and um Robert Rodriguez are buddies as well. Yeah. Tarantino. And that's where it all started. I think Tarantino wrote that script and then Robert Rodriguez. Um, yeah, it's great. I mean, we also, we talked about it up top, but having fucking Machete yeah. in in a kid's movie yeah. is so it's wild. Bizarre. It's and very bizarre because it also like touches on two totally different parts of society. I think like the the person who loves the B movie and they're just like, okay, yeah, this is this is what I'm into. I want to be into very, very violent, pulpy movies. And then you have uh, children, literal children. You know Danny Trejo is just the absolute sweetest of gem course. of a human man Of course, he life. made a fucking donut shop. And a, a poutine A vegan shop. donut shop. And it's very tasty. And they would give you free donuts after 6 p.m. Oh, my God. Yeah, and they would hand them out to the unhoused people, too. Sweet guy. We got some banger fun facts. Fun facts yeah. with facts back. So the thumb thumbs. <laughs> thumb thumbs. What are you talking about? Thumbs. The thumb thumbs <laughs> that Kelsey wants to ride. Stop those thumbs. Suck on them thumbs. Uh, is based on a uh, drawing that Robert Rodriguez's child did. Oh. That so you want to fuck a crayon drawing? <laughs> Listen, I've had weirder. You know what I'm saying? Fair enough. Uh, my favorite uh, is to always talk about the alt casting mm -hmm. that could have been, and we've got some wild ones. No way. So, Carmen. No. You can't imagine anyone yeah. else. Yeah. I refuse. Only. Okay. Only. I, I dare you to try and shot to, to replace. Alexa Vega. Uh-uh. The other people who auditioned for the role included Brie Larson. <laughs> Who auditioned for everything? I'm yeah, learning. Yeah, she really wasn't. She to be was. A child she star. was out there. Is, yeah. is she an Nepo baby at all, or is she was just into it? Ooh, if we find out Brie Larson's an Nepo baby, we're gonna be sad. Because it's like, I how are you? It's, it's. it's I, I, think I, I think it's. It's mainly me asking, how is she getting these auditions? She just. Was, she was out she there. She's out here. Okay. And because it'll make me respect her more, is what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah. And Elizabeth Olsen. Oh damn. <laughs> Can't replace our girl. Alexa Vega is it. I think everybody would have been mad. Yeah. That it's just like, oh. Wait, but also, was Elizabeth Olsen, Olsen auditioning for things as a kid and like didn't Get have stuff. a breakout until Marcy Martha May Marlene? I I remember it being a long time since her sisters had children yeah. that I knew who she was. I think, and that's what what probably was what did her it. detriment yeah. was her her sisters have such a recognizable face and then she looks just like them same last you name you literally forget they're related though now oh yeah you don't think about them at all when at you all. think of her at she's all. really she really built her at own all. shit yeah. Yeah. yeah way to go lizzie uh and uh, for gregorio cortez played by mr puss and boots himself antonio banderas no one they considered john travolta <laughs> oh god Garrick just pushed the mic away like it stinks. Our Espana man to yeah. be replaced by that Floridian Scientologist. <laughs> There's a dog I really want to foster right now whose name is John Travolta, and I'm like not going to because it's. Can you imagine how many names he would have mispronounced? Oh, God. <laughs> you're right. Oh. No, thanks. You're yeah. not doing, you're not hitting any for me, uh, Zach. Um, so for Fegan Floop. They were considering Martin Short. Okay. That, that yeah. works a thousand percent. Yeah. It's almost two on the money. Yeah. yeah. And Brendan Fraser. <gasps> Our boy. Ah! Oscar winner. <gasps> wow. Ah! Ah! Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then for Our Ingrid Cortez, boy. Catherine O'Hara, Renee Zellweger, <gasps> mm. and potential heir to the Tucci Month throne. <gasps> we're considering doing one on her next. Rachel McAdams. Oh, oh that's wild. Okay, wait. Wait, she was in a on. baby. Name those three women again. Rachel McAdams. Renee Zellweger. Renee Zellweger. Catherine O'Hara. Put all of those three women together, their faces. It makes up our girl. Carly that's Pichino. fair. Yeah. That's fair. Holy shit. Someone the only one that. the only one missing is um what's what's my girl from uh, Name uh from Charlie's Angels. Uh the head. Drew Barrymore? No. Cameron Lucy Diaz? Lou. Cameron Diaz. Oh. Yeah, the tracks. only one missing that is Cameron tracks. Diaz. Yep, that tracks. All four of their faces together yep. is uh, this woman. I love it. 
Um, uh, this is adorable. Robert Rodriguez brought Alexa Vega to see Mission Impossible 2 before they started filming, and he leaned over to her in the movie and said, you're going to look so much... Sorry, I'm going to get oh, this quote right. Sounds yeah. creepy. He leaned over halfway through the movie and said, you're going to be so much cooler than Tom Cruise. Yeah. That's adorable. That's okay, true. Sure. It's very true. It's adorable, Kelsey. Well, if you look at where Tom Cruise is versus Alexa Vega, I don't know if I he mean, was that right. I mean, we're not you know? really. He was saying it's a comfort <laughs> a like, child. Yeah, it feels like he was lying to her straight to her face. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't seem right. Uh, this is Robert Rodriguez's, I, I keep <laughs> rushing the name, his first PG film. Uh, despite playing a Mexican-American, Daryl Sabara, he's one of my people. He's an Ashkenazi Jew. What? Wow. He got that fucked up. Tell me. Uh, I don't know when this fact is from, but Netflix is rebooting Spy Kids. Uh, Robert Rodriguez is on board, but the cast is not. No. <laughs> this shit is not. There's no way this movie is going through. Gina Rodriguez and Zachary Levi. What? I think they are. They wrapped filming it. Like, oh filming it. my <laughs> god! Oh what? no! Yeah. Oh no! Oh my god! That is. My, I my. cannot imagine a worse blunt rotation than yeah. being with those two. People. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a nightmare! But boy, are we gonna see it and watch it on this show? Oh, yeah, what a fucking yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Oh. God. We don't think too hard about it. It hurts me. Don't think too hard about it. God, Zachary Levi. I just keep really on hearing heebie jeebies in my head. Oh, man. Ugh. Zachary Levi just yeah. fumbled his bag all the way. Oh, just yeah. Dumped it out. Off of one tweet? Off of one quote retweet? Yeah. Of him just being one like. One quote retweet, a couple anti trans stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. and a Joe Rogan yeah, appearance Joe later. Rogan and appearance. here That's you the are. That's perfect recipe. Yeah. Enjoy Christian movies for the rest of your life. Yeah. It's, it's like making the worst Powerpuff Girl. <laughs> <laughs> the sugar spice and everything nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. Joe Rogan. Turn. <laughs> yeah. And that's a bad tweet. Yeah, exactly. What do you get? <laughs> Zachary Levi. Levi. A or lifetime of B-movies co-starring Kevin Sorbo. Uh. <laughs> Congratulations, Zachary Levi. That is your life. <laughs> oh, God. God is it? now the time where we decided this movie is a guilty pleasure, a gu pleasure, or just plain guilty? That's Couldn't have so said hard it better say. than myself. It's so hard to say. Yes. I'm going to say, I'm going to start it off, because this did lay a chromosome in my childhood upbringing to be trauma for some weird reason. Oh. And I feel like I healed some of that last night. I'm going to have to go with guilty pleasure. It's really good, but some of the uncomfortable CGI and strange character choices for me is going to keep it at guilty pleasure. But definitely watch it if you haven't watched it in a long time. Fair enough. I would I would say full pleasure. Ooh, full pee. May, mainly because of how the the importance that it it put on, um, and I didn't even get into this while we were talking, but the importance it put on to uh being a a little brother that has to overcome Aww. um certain like your thoughts about him, uh, your sister's shadow and like stepping out of you know shadows in general and like kind of like just believing in yourself. Um, I think it's very important for little boys honestly Aww. to see that. Um, and know that she was the one wearing diapers after all. Yeah, she was. That was a good reveal. I liked that. Yeah. I I'm also going to go pleasure. Yeah. I think that this movie is look, it's really goofy, mm -hmm. but it's weird and it just enjoys being weird. It's not explaining why it's weird. It's just loving itself for being weird. Yeah. Uh Robert Rodriguez, I li just looked it up. This was a 35 million dollar budget Ooh. movie. And that is Small. For and an you know, Robert Rodriguez, film. I don't know if you noticed, he, in addition to writing and directing, he edited this movie. That oh, dude is wow. leading a lot of the effects himself. I just wow. think it's like an impressive filmmaking feat. That is incredible. That also is just a fun, campy kids movie. And honestly, like, I know we live in the age of like the serious bond and the skyfall and all that, but I love just campy, goofy spy movie. I think it's fun. I love gadgets. I love when it's like them driving their car off a cliff and yeah. going underwater. Submarine. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Very into that. It's a good time. I dare you to show this to a kid and have their world not absolutely rock. Yeah, yeah. they it's, would actually put their iPads down for it. this. They it's would love it. Really Just make sure they, they don't see anything better first. Mm -hmm. Like anything that looks Techno better first, yeah. like technologically. Yeah, I mean, some advanced. of it hasn't aged the best yeah. in terms of how it looks, but it's really impressive and a very well done kids movie. Yes. I... I'm into it. Uh, 
we're going to move on to my pleasures, but Kelsey, you have to run. So why don't you hit us with your pleasure and then get the fuck out of here. Mine's actually a book because I'm smarter wow. this week. Um, uh, my pleasure that I am enjoying right now, I am reading the book Giovanni's Room. It is a gay, iconic oh. love story about a man who's with a woman, but he's visiting Paris and he meets Giovanni. And for someone who is a very visual person, I'm like a visual learner. The writing of this author, whose name I'm blanking on, it's James very Baldwin. Moment. It is James Baldwin. Um, really sad book. But. It's. Have you read it? Yeah. Oh my god, I haven't really met a lot of people that have read it. Oh yeah, it's not it too school. long, and it's yeah. it's yeah, it's it, like, the visual. Yeah. You're dropping a James Baldwin book as your pleasure. You <laughs> there you go. It. You. I'm like up there now. I read. Um, didn't but you didn't think I could read. It's really uh, visually stimulating. It reads like I'm watching a film, and that's what I really enjoy about it. And I'm taking my time watching it because I'm really enjoying just the process of reading his words. Um, I'm Kelsey Dare on all the things. Goodbye. Hell yeah. Um, Kelsey, I want you to hear my pleasure as you leave the room. Mine, because I'm also cultured, is a play. Wow. Fat Ham uh, just opened on Broadway. It was off Broadway previously at the Public Theater. It is a Pulitzer winning play. It is fucking phenomenal. It is a modern retelling of Hamlet that takes place at a family cookout. And it is a story. It uses Hamlet to talk about generational trauma within a black family. Uh, you have, it's also um, the, the, uh, the main character is a gay black man and dealing with how to communicate that with his family. Yeah. The ghost of his father's coming through. It's funny. It's meta. It is incredibly heartwarming. Um, or I shouldn't say heartwarming. It is incredibly uh, uh, affirming. I don't know. It's yeah. just a really l incredible piece of work, and I have not seen it. Uh, I'm really excited to see them port it over to Broadway. Um, I'm just so delighted that more people are going to get to see this show uh, because I was afraid that it was going to just have its off-Broadway run and be be done with it. Yeah. This play fucking rocks. Fuck yeah. It is so good. Yeah. So if you're in New York, get on over to Broadway. Go see Fat Ham. It is a play, not a musical, and it is absolutely phenomenal. Got to love a play. Love a play, not so much, not too big on musicals. But <laughs> um, um, uh, mine is, I'm not cultured at all, um, apparently, but it, it is an anime. I'm so sorry. Hey, um, man. But the other day, you'll love this. I Someone was like, embarrassed to say that they liked anime and I'm like hey man be proud anime is the next Marvel and everyone went oh shit oh, and they're God, like where'd man. you hear that I'm like I made it up but honestly it feels it right it feels correct it feels like in the next 20 years yeah. the way that Marvel went from being like for comic nerds and now yeah. is mainstream I feel like anime is gonna become yeah, more mainstream yeah I think mainstream. you just need that one live action yep. uh, iteration that like does astronomically well um, which, which the Last of Us is doing with uh, video games right now, so I think it's just going to launch things. But um, the uh, Attack on Titan special that they just Ooh. put out—they uh, put out an hour um, continuing the story. Um, that they, I think they're doing like three hour-long movies. I'm not sure how they're they're doing this, but um, they put out an hour special that was absolutely phenomenal. It was fantastic. There is. There's there's been this thing um, that my cousin and I kind of argue over where with a lot of like um, I, I guess I can just say Japanese storytelling it's a little bit more hokey and a little bit more like on the nose about character motivations and all of this stuff and like the the uh, characters are kind of more two dimensional and, and less complex. With Attack on Titan, literally every um, season, there's been like four or five, it has been like a different genre of anime. Like oh, it, sweet. It, it went from... I've only seen the first season, so oh, it's, I didn't it's, keep going. It's great. Yeah, it went from an, uh, a, a zombie movie, uh, a zombie genre movie or whatever. Then it went to like a mecha type anime where everybody has like their own little flesh mecha thing. Then it turned into... A, an espionage plot, <laughs> and then it it turned into an allegory for the Holocaust. Oh, fuck. So it's like, <laughs> yo, what the fuck is happening? And now, right now, where we're where we're at with this special, it's literally them taking apart war and the reasoning for war. And you're you're like, where the fuck did this come from? I'm watching a cartoon. Where did this where did this depth come from? 
And I, I really, really do um, would implore you, and I cannot inst- a, 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 like stress this enough, it is not the average anime at all. It is, it is stunning. It is, I think, a work of art <laughs> and a masterpiece in like storytelling. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask you a question that I don't want you to answer until next week. Okay. I want your next pleasure to be what you think is the best entry anime for anyone who may feel uh, intimidated by jumping in. Okay. Because I know I saw that they asked Michael B. Jordan this yeah. recently, and yeah. his answers, people were, I don't know if they liked it or not. What did they like? He said, I, I don't like, know. He, he answered like, like five or something. Like yeah, that. He or, did. yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, he put you. that. Um, well, gang. What do you think about Spy Kids? Do you want to fuck a thumb thumb? <laughs> God, I hope not. Uh, did it make you want to be a little kid spy? Are you Team Junior or Team Alexa? Just kidding. We don't pit them against each other. No, we they don't. both rock. Yeah, they do. This has been an episode. Yeah. <laughs> That's it for this show. I'm at Courtney on all things. I'm at Garrick Bernard on all the things. I'm at Kelsey Dare on all the things. <laughs> I'm at Rainy Tall on all the things. I'm at Try Guys on all the things. And until next time... Shit-talking mushrooms. Mm.